Hello! In this DSC mobile app tutorial video, we'll go over all the important functions of this comprehensive school app. First thing, if you haven't done so, please install the app on your mobile devices. The app is now available on both iOS and Android. So what is in the app? This app is designed to give parents a one-stop platform for all school communications. In the app, we have news, events and calendars, athletics, teacher directory, notifications, forms, and so much more. Once you open the app, you can see the login button at the top. Click on it and enter your parent portal login. You may retrieve your login by visiting the web page on the screen. On the home page of the app, you can see the featured news at the top and also the upcoming events. If you click on the event, you can read more information about it. The second tab on the bottom, News, you can view all the news posted by the school. You can also go to Filter to change your settings and select the subscriptions based on your preferences. The third tab, Athletics, you can view all the exciting games of our sports teams. You can also go to Filter to change your settings and select the teams that you want to follow. The teacher directory is where you can easily search for teachers and find their contact information. When you click on the More tab, you can see a list of other information and it includes notifications, calendars, and many other useful links. When you click on Notifications, you can view the school messages here. Please click on the Settings icon at the top right corner to set your subscriptions to the school mailing list. Below Notifications, there is a calendar icon. You can also set your filters here to view the calendar according to your child's division. Scrolling down on the screen, you can find access to important information such as links to our lunch service, school bus, and also useful forms. If your child is going to be absent from school, you can use the absence form located here to notify the school. Last thing, don't forget to turn on the notification in your phone setting. Thank you for watching.